What's going on YouTube? Gsnow right here. So I took a short break and in the meantime it looks like Luca Tedesco has demonstrated a jailbreak for iOS 16 at one of their talks. We're gonna get to that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files like photos, music, PDFs and so on directly from your computer to your device. You can also do selective backups to your files directly from the program. Check it out in the link below. So a couple of days ago there was a talk by Luca Tedesco of Dataflow Security called Life and Death as an iOS attacker. Now this talk is of course security research oriented and it was mostly a sad talk, mostly talking about how difficult stuff is nowadays for security researchers on iOS, talking about the sandbox and how it got much tighter over time with web content no longer having any access to iOKit for example and Blastor for reducing zero click risk attacks and stuff like that, which of course all of these go to show that Apple is learning from their past mistakes. You can see a lot of talk about you know attack mitigation and stuff like that on iOS and it looks like Apple is no longer targeting only the jailbreaks but they are rather interested in security overall. So the talk itself was mostly oriented on a sad note that the iOS security research is at its worst at the moment because you do require a lot of knowledge and the public techniques and the public knowledge that is available online and in the wild is usually many years behind the current security techniques that Apple has. So it's not a good time to be an iOS security researcher. However, when we thought that the talk would end again on a sad note, look at the desk code demonstrated on the last moment a jailbreak for iOS 16.1 latest beta. They basically have it over here. It's a WebKit based one by the looks of it. They go to a local IP address over there on their device in Safari and they press do it over there, which of course seems to run a WebKit exploit paired with a kernel exploit by the looks of it. Shows the Darwin kernel version string to prove the iOS version and stuff like that and then performs what appears to be a kernel memory read. This one being the feed phase from from the um, kernel. So by the looks of it, while things are bad in the Apple security community, while things are getting harder, it's not impossible, even as of iOS 16, to create a jailbreak. And 16.1 beta 2 at the moment is signed. So look at the Desco has essentially a kernel exploit and possibly a WebKit exploit for the latest version available, which is actually quite nice. It goes to show that no, it's not impossible to do this nowadays. It just requires a lot of knowledge and a lot of resources. Now, of course, I don't expect this to be released anytime soon, especially since Luca Tedesco hasn't released anything in the jailbreak community for quite some time now. They said multiple times years ago that they're not going to get involved in that anymore because of how toxic the community is and of course they don't have anything to gain from releasing free jailbreaks, especially to the ungrateful people in the community who keep harassing developers. So that's a problem in its own right in the community with people not being patient enough and harassing developers, which of course drives them to no longer complete the projects and to drop jailbreaking completely, but yes, it's possible to still do it nowadays. And this was demonstrated, mind you, on iOS 16.1 beta 2, which of course is currently the latest beta, and that's actually incredible. So yeah, that's basically it, thank you for watching, I am Geo Snow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community, and peace out.